Hello guys, today I have a special request from a YouTuber asking about volume and how to trade volume or what is volume and uh, what is the relation of volume to the stock. So see what he says. Now, from YouTube, hope all is well. I missed Friday live stream uh, because I understand that I always have uh, Friday live stream at 11 uh, p.m. Eastern time. This is most of the YouTubers that they follow me. They know about this. Sometimes I do it at 10 Eastern time EST. Sometimes at 11. Yesterday we did it at 11. But if you could please, please do a video about uh, volume so volume is so murky for to me all I know is that it's relative to each individual stock because of that I never know how to determine what is good volume so the main question is what what do you mean by good volume okay and that it's necessary for volatility and liquidity I cannot understand how to read bars. Uh, now, uh, what he mean by bars? Uh, it is candlesticks. It means that we uh, that we always see. Can you talk about how to read volume bars? It means uh, candlesticks and and the volume of candlesticks. Okay, what do spikes mean? It means spikes, it means just when we have a very, very long uh, candlestick like this, either up, uh, it could be, it could be up, or it could be down. Let, let's say this is up and this is down. Can you successfully trade with low volume? Now he asks us about low volume. Now here he say good volume, he say low volume, he, he's speaking about candlesticks. What is low volume? What is good volume? This is what he asks. Which chart should we use to determine if volume is higher or lower? Which chart? No, the, ch the charts are always the same. Because the chart shows you all the charts, they show you if the volume is higher or lower so there is no because this it is from the exchange okay it's from the exchange a stock is having volume uh, from the exchange now all these is what he is uh, what he is asking and um, I will try in this video try to be patient because sometimes I go long longer like uh, 20 minutes or 25 or half an hour because there are a lot of things that it is related to the subject and if you deal only with one thing you leave the others it will be incomplete so let's go and see first uh, what is this volume that the people talk about too much okay and do I believe in this volume okay and do I trade volume and what is good volume what is uh, low volume and what is its relation to the stock so let's go and uh, i will just try to explain these things okay now the first thing uh, i want to mention is volume what does it what does this mean in a trading now I will give you an example. Now, let's say we take Facebook and we take XYZ, it's just a small stock. Facebook, let's say it is $168 now, and this XYZ, it is $1. Okay? And then we find the volume here is 15 million 
let's say we find in this stock the volume is 5k it means 5000 volume now to make a simple uh, explanation what is volume volume is all traded shares traded shares in a given time in a given time now when we say in a given time uh, it should you should you should uh, first specify what is this time for example here when i'm speaking about 15 million it's a daily daily it means the daily volume here it is daily also where we should compare compare two things with the same uh, volume now why i say here all what does it mean all why i, I say just uh, traded shares in a given time i say all because the shares that are traded okay now we have two things that you don't see in the volume and this is why the people are always confused so the volume is the shares sold plus bought so we have two actions in the volume okay if there are more sold than bought the volume the the price will be going down if it's the opposite there are more bought than sold the stock will go up will go up like this okay so what is this has to do with our trading now for me i'm telling you right now to to and uh, to make sure you understand i don't trade volume i don't care about if the stock has 15 million or it is it has 5k 5000 shares traded a day it's not my concern my concern is how the stock is doing in the price movement for example 15 million daily it doesn't mean that facebook has 15 million shares bought it doesn't mean that if it means that the stock can go from one uh 168 it can go for example to 180 if it is if it is only bought 15 million shares bought in one day the stock can jump from 168 to 180 but the problem is that there are people who are who are buying there are people who are selling which is the sale that's why the stock let's say it goes from 168 to 167 it goes only one dollar now why you ask yourself why there is 15 million today as traded share shares traded but the stock goes to only to one dollar now go to this stock the small stock that we are speaking about okay so it is one dollar but uh today now yesterday for example it was 80 cents but today is one dollar with 5000 k which uh, it means uh, 5000 shares traded a day so you ask yourself why f the stock goes too much from 80 cents to one dollar in one day and why it is just five thousand shares traded a day so why wh why is that why this stock is moving so fast from 80 cents which is 25 percent so from 80 cents 
if we have a, a 20 cent for today it goes from 80 cent yesterday to 20 added the 20 cents today you will find that it is one dollar today and you see that the stock has gone 25 percent okay with low volume why facebook with 15 million it doesn't go that much it go only one dollar and one dollar it is zero point uh, um, let's say 70 percent or something so it's it's not a big deal but you see this stock has gone 25 percent okay so do you now begin to get the idea that the volume has nothing to do with with the price a change okay sometimes it can be up it can be down but this has to do with the volume from day to day from day to day okay some stocks have high volume now why because they are they are very known stocks facebook for example twitter bank of america uh th there are some stocks that you that when you always go you find 10 million 15 million 50 million facebook sometimes goes to 100 million well when there is a news or something like that why because there are millions of trade of traders in the world that they trade some they buy thinking that the stock is going up others they think that the stock is going down they sell short understand this is the opinion because when you trade it is your opinion on what you see on the chart now you you think that the stock is going up so you buy but there is someone else who thinks that the stock is 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 uh, going down so he said short don't tell me why why he goes along and why this other guy goes short this is just uh, trading now for me uh, i can trade high volume stocks and i trade low volume stocks it's the same the only thing that matters for me is how the stock moves can i make money yes or no so stop thinking about numbers in in volume stop thinking about numbers because these numbers doesn't reflect what's going on to the stock i just showed you with 5k 5000 shares just 5000 the stock has gone from 80 cents to one dollar in it it has gone 25 percent it means you have been making a lot of money in one day for example you bought it yesterday at 80 cents today it is 20 cents uh, it is uh, one dollar it means you get 20 cents but this 20 cents is what for the stock from 80 cents it is 25 percent so you understand now that the volume it is low but you are making a lot of money now you go to facebook uh, the volume is so high 15 million 20 million 50 million volume it means too much and the stock is so big but the result is that you are getting only one dollar from yesterday to today sometimes even you get uh, uh, seven cents even the stock facebook is so big but sometimes you have you get even seven cents uh 20 cents 30 cents depending on the stock you can check that so to give you the summary of this video i don't use a volume in my trading i don't so stop saying what is good what is bad volume stop saying that because it doesn't work and I will give you now uh, another thing. Uh, I will show you something else. Okay. Okay. So let's say we have two stocks X or X, Y, Z, and F, C, 
D. Now these are fictitious, uh, uh, fictitious symbols. Just to make uh, sure uh, you understand. Now this stock is one dollar, and this stock is one dollar. They are the same. Now what is difference? The difference is the volume. Uh, this is no. Let's say let's say this is ten dollars. This is one dollar. Okay, let's take this. I want to just try to make it clear for you with this example. Now, one million, and here we have one million uh, volume. Okay, one million volume. The same. The two have the same volume. Okay, so same volume and and different prices. This is ten dollars. This is one dollar. Now, are they the same? No, they are not the same. This is ten dollar. One million from one uh, from one uh, from uh, ten dollars. It's not the same as one million in one dollar because this is cheaper. This is a cheap, and the the people who are trading, they are. Uh, although they are the same, and they traded the same shares, but if you see the capitalization of this volume, one dollar from one million uh, traded okay it's only in this stock the money that you are going to focus on is only one million one million dollar now here the money in this stock is 10 million so the people who are here are not the people uh, who are here it means that 10 million this stock has more money than this stock in terms of trading so they are not the same okay so what does it mean it means here the price is expensive ten dollars compared to one dollar and the money here is bigger than 1 million 10 million is bigger than 1 million it means if we have the same traders the same traders for example let's say we have 3000 traders 3000 traders in one in here in buying 10 dollars and we have 3000 traders 3000 traders buying 1 million now here they compete on 10 million dollar so these guys here will be making more money than this three three thousand here because they have only one million you see the difference this is in terms of money because you you are competing with three thousand for ten million but here we have three million but you are competing only one million so where is the stock that we have a lot of money? It's this one. It's ten. Is uh, ten dollars? We have more money. Now, second thing, the volume is the same. But if you go to the chart, you find maybe one million here is let's say is uh, getting let's say two percent. 2% in advance it means 2% uh, profit and if you go to this one dollar it could be let's say 20% so the volume here although the volume is the same but the percentage how the stock moves is different and this is what I am asking always to put uh, to focus on focus on the movement of the stock don't focus on the volume the volume is tricky and it gives you nothing okay because i just showed you one million here 
volume, 1 million volume. But how the stock moves are different. Now, are you going to focus on volume or are you going to focus on the movement of the stock? For me, when I see the volume, I try to see how much the stock moves. This is the most important thing for me. So I'm not looking for to, uh, to trade volume. I don't trade volume. So volume for me is, uh, is nothing. Okay? So, as with this demonstration, I showed you that uh, although two stocks have the same volume, it doesn't mean nothing. They are different. So stop focusing on the volume itself. Okay? Stop focusing on the volume. See how the stock moves. Sometimes a uh, uh, stock is with low volume, but it goes good. Are you going to leave this stock because it has low volume? No. For me, I don't trade volume. So all your questions that you ask, I answer to you by one word. I don't see the volume. Okay? Now, some people, this, what I'm speaking about is swing trading. It means short-term trading. When you buy a stock for today and you leave it for days or weeks or months. Now, some people in day trading use volume to see some stocks that are that have uh, a change today so i will i will explain this because a lot of people they don't differentiate between swing trading which is short-term trading and day trading they are different so try always when you listen to someone is he talking about day trading or is he talking about short-term trading because they are so so different for me, as a swing trader, I follow trends. I don't see the volume and it doesn't matter for me if it is low volume or high volume. I will, I will give you more information later at the end of this video. Now let's continue. Now we go to day trading. Day trading, why the people they use, they, they, they want to know volume, why? Because if the, how do they search for stocks? They search for stocks for volume. Okay, I will tell you, I will explain this. Just to make sure you understand that now uh, we are talking about day trading. Please try to make the difference because if you don't make the difference, uh, you will not get what I am saying always. Now, day trading. Now, Let's say you are now at 9.30 a.m. So the market is open. Now, how the day traders find stocks to trade? Is it at random? Is it you go just like this without any search? The most important thing to do as a day trader is to scan for volume change in stocks volume change let's say here is an example a stock was just an example okay one dollar so this is yesterday now when you do scanning with a stock screener, with a stock screener, I, I know most of you know, and especially if you are a day trader, you know stock screener. It means you scan, you try to scan by volume. This is the most important thing you should do in stock screener. This is the most important criteria, is volume. Now, today, this stock is 110 today at 9.30 it means that this stock has moved 10% and you you like this kind of stocks that move 10% or 20 or 15 just to make sure 
if the stock moves at 10 today uh, opens at 10 it might go to for example to 120 in the day or it can go to 150 so this is how trading is with volume is very important to give you indicators about a change in the stock now if the stock doesn't change one dollar today it opens one dollar one cent are you going to uh, to check for this kind of stocks no no because the volume has not changed that much so probably this stock will not move that much in the day so day trading is about volume and most of the time when there are news because the news change the volume now when you see for example that today there is an announcement in the morning that a company has a good earning you see people coming and they buy okay they buy even before the market open and during the market uh, during the market hours and after the market hours so i will give you an example because this example will show you that volume has to do when it, when it is uh, with the news it gives you a lot of edge a lot of advantage so i will give you an example okay i will give you an example i will give you an example of earning news now you find the stock twenty dollars the whole day it goes uh, five cents or twenty cents it doesn't matter now you know that today you are a day trader i'm not uh, saying sw uh, swing trader you are a day trader you are looking at the earning news of today after the market close okay so you see that this stock is going to be good news or bad news and you see the volume change and the price change okay so whenever you see the volume has been going up you find that the price has been going either up or down okay so let's uh, just give you this example I'm trying always to make it easier for you guys so this is 4 p.m 4 p.m now you you are a day trader uh, let's say uh, XYZ there is the earning earning news earning news after the market they say after market close so what does it mean they don't say the exact time but it says after 4 p.m okay after 4 p.m now the stock close close the stock is closed at 20 dollars okay now you are looking after 4 p.m and at 4 15 you see that this stock 20 goes to 21 now when you see the stock is going up like 21 you see for example the close here the volume was let's say 1 million in the close but at 415 the stock is going to 21 and the volume is 3 million what does it mean what does it mean for you you see that the volume has changed from 1 million it goes to 3 million it means that either the people are buying if there if there is good news the stock is going 21 or the stock is going to 19 or 18 let's say we say 18 and the people are selling short so because because the volume it doesn't tell you if the stock is going up or going down so how do you know it's just by the price okay 
So if you see that the stock is moving up, you understand in general that the people are are buying. Now you you jump in, you jump in and you buy at 21. After for example half an hour it goes to 25, you are going to make a lot of money and the volume is 8 million. Okay? Now let's say the stock is going to 18 and you think that the stock will be going down much so you sell short and then the stock is going to 16 and the volume goes to 8 million the same because the volume doesn't show you if the stock is going up or going down now the volume is the action that you should see it's the action so that's why day traders they focus a lot on volume and price. You should not, you should not forget about the price because the price tells you if the stock is going up or going down. So here, I'm just showing you that because of the news, because of the news, the volume changes because traders, they come in order to trade because they are waiting for the news. Okay. Sometimes the news comes and the people they don't know, but when they know, they begin to sell short or uh, to sell uh, to sell short or to go long. And I'm telling you uh, right now something else. There are some traders who are professional traders or the people who have money. They subscribe to the news in their broker. That's why it is very important for them. Why? Let's say uh, you are subscribed and you begin to see the news. You see a company in the morning at 7 o'clock. It's announced that it has a very big deal with the government or with, uh, with another thing. And it is good news for the company. And it can make a lot of money. So... Why this, why this news for this company is so important? Because you will find that when you go to your stock at 7 o'clock, you will find that the stock the volume is changing up and you see that the people are buying and you see that the stock is going up. That's why people, uh, they like volatility. It means they like stocks with high volume. Because there is a big movement in the stock. Okay? That's why volume is so important to day traders. I'm saying to you, day traders. For me, I don't trade that much. I don't do day trading that much. I do swing trading that much. That's why volume for me, it has nothing to do. I don't trade volume. But for day traders, yes, it is so important. So... If you, you are a swing trader, forget about trading. Uh, forget about volume. It doesn't help that much. It has nothing to do with whatever. Because we, we, are, not, we are not looking for one day to stay, to hold a stock for one day. We are looking to, to hold for uh, weeks, days, weeks or months. So if the news comes or it doesn't come, it's not that important. But if you, you are a day trader, the volume can change at any time in the day according to the news. Okay? So, if you, you are a day trader, you should focus on the news. This news gives you the volume and the volume changes the price up or down. And then you can decide either to go long or to sell short. Okay? So, these are the most important thing I'm telling you about about volume now there is something else it happened with low volume i will explain most of the people they know but i will just explain okay this is the last thing i will explain so um now <clears throat> the thing i will ask you to do is let's say we have xyz this is a stock it is $20. Now, $20 is the bid. The ask 
it means when you when you want to buy the stock is twenty dollars twenty cents now look look at this stock this stock the bid and the ask are too too much it's 20 cents from 20 to 20 to 20 dollars zero zero to 20 dollars 20 cent is too much now most of the time when you see the price like this in the bid and the ask you will find the low volume that's why i want i want to tell you and you say to me uh, what is this low volume low volume is because the bid and the ask are or the spread is very wide now why we have why we have this big spread because of the low volume why you ask yourself why this has a relation with market maker market maker is the guys who makes who makes the the market it means when you when they ask you to pay this they ask you to pay this twenty dollars twenty cents but if you want to sell them let's say let's say you right now you buy the stock at the twenty dollars twenty cents but but you just you buy and then you decide it's not good stock you want to sell it you want to sell it right now so how much the market maker gives you in terms of money they give you only twenty dollars so what does it mean it means that you are losing 20 cents you are losing 20 cents for each share you bought this is this is what it means for you so you bought it 20 dollars 20 cents and if you want to sell it now why the market makers do this it is because of the low volume the market makers want to protect themselves because they match they buy from you they sell to another guy so you see they sell with a profit 20 cents profit goes in their pockets it doesn't go to the broker it goes to the market makers now if it is the case for you if uh, if you are not selling right away you are a swing trader this could be not a big deal if you are staying few days or few weeks or few months but if you are a day trader this low volume will will hurt you it will hurt you because whenever you buy at twenty dollars twenty cents you are going to lose always some money when you sell even if you make a profit you are not going you are not going uh, to sell at the ask you are going to sell at the bid now to to solve this problem and you don't feed your market makers it's better if you want to you can you can uh, choose okay you can choose high volume stocks now high volume stocks how it works let's say it is $20 the, the bid Let, let's say this is another stock YXM it's $20 the bid you find here that it was twenty dollars one cent here now you ask yourself why this stock has um, only one cent spread between 20 and 20 and 20 because this it has five million volume now high volume stocks you don't you don't it doesn't hurt you this kind of stocks because how much you will give to your to your market maker you are giving them only one dollar if you are if you want to sell for example you buy 100 shares at 
twenty dollars one cent you sell it with twenty dollars zero zero you will only uh, pay one dollar for the spread and this one dollar goes to the market maker understand i'm speaking here about making a market maker i'm not speaking about commission commission it goes to the broker okay so it's better for you if you are doing uh, for example day trading or so you should you you should like high volume stocks in day trading is better okay that's why that's why day traders are with high volume anything that moves so fast five million you go to it it's better than when you go to uh, five thousand k okay so this is the last point i want to show you guys so i have explained to you volume according to the styles of trading and swing trading or swing traders like me we don't trade volume Either the stock has a high volume or low volume, in, in, in a sense or another, it's not a big deal. But if you are a day trader, think about the high volume a lot. Because high volume changes the price so quickly. Especially when you scan for stocks. Especially when there are news. Why the people they, they like news? Why the people they go uh, when we have the earning news? Why? And you see the, the stock was 20 and then next day it goes to 30. Or it was $20 and then we have a gap down, it goes to $10. Why is that? It's just because day traders are there to buy heavily, either up or down. So you see, day traders are with high volume because they can make a lot of money if the stock moves too much. If the stock moves uh, 5 cents a day, are you going to trade these kind of stocks? You are a day trader? No. It doesn't help you to make much. Because the day is short. We have only short hours. You need something that it is explosive. Like earning news. Okay? And you ask yourself, uh, how the stock goes from 20, it goes to 30 in uh, two hours. How? Did you see Facebook, for example? When there is bad news, it goes $44 in two hours who 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 makes this change it is day traders and they sell short heavily there are millions of people are waiting for news so if you are a day trader you should think about the news about volume and price change okay so thank you very much for watching i know this video could be a little uh, long but understand that I'm explaining a lot of things and you should understand each style alone. Day trading, it is not swing trading. So please, if you have more questions, please ask in the description or send me an email uh, as this guy who sent me an email. Thank you very much.